our guest for today is a very brilliant individual. She has developed an app and we're very excited by this because if she's developing this kind of app now, I can't wait to see what she'll be doing in a few years. Her name is Tomise Ogunobi and if her surname sounds familiar, it's because her dad is a regular here on The Crunch. Tomise is a student of Vivian Fowler Memorial College for Girls and we are very honored to have you on The Crunch. Thank you, Ma. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. You know your dad is like, we are his fans. We absolutely love him. So this, this really means a lot to me. But tell me about your app. So my app is a location tracking app. Okay. What the app basically does is that it shows you your current location. Okay. Once the app is initialized, All right. you're allowed to view that location on the Google Maps. Okay. You're also allowed to save that location for future references. Okay. Then if you leave that location which has been saved, mm -hmm. you could get the direction from wherever you, where you are, are to, to the location that, that you had so saved. cool. I added another feature. Okay. So I tried to merge the app with the 767, which is Lagos State Emergency <gasps> Number. Oh. This feature sends your location to Lagos the State Emergency, emergency service. service, which can give you quick response yeah in case of any emergencies and this could also be done very discreetly in case so of that if you're in a, like a dangerous situation, situation people don't notice my mind is blown how did you think about this i it was actually when someone like me now my parents are not really comfortable letting me go yeah. out especially in nigeria this time where there's lots of social vices and crimes yeah I thought of a way where I could have your freedom, have my freedom, and <laughs> if they know that I'm with such an app, you know, they Maybe have some them. sort of comfort mm -hmm. that I'm at least safe, and yeah. they don't have to remember where they dropped me off. Yeah, they could just click on the button to get to where I'm. So, so if let's say you have the app on your phone, I have the app on my phone. How do you know where I am? Is there? Do I have to sign in, or do you have to sign in? No, I just have to save your location. Okay. That's basically That's it. That's all you have to do. I just have to save your location to get to where you are. Okay. And what kind of help did you have in building the app? I got help from mostly everybody around me. Okay. For example, my school. Yeah. My school gives you the ability to own your education. So Fantastic. You're allowed to think out of the box. So since having that space also helps me with all my teachers and all my friends, mm -hmm. each of them putting in all the ideas and allowing my mind to just go to anywhere, anywhere it can wants go. to go. That so is that so helps awesome. me to think. And obviously, I'm still trying to do more. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you what you have next because I, I'm sure you already have some ideas. But what did your, your parents say when you showed them the app? They were quite confused <laughs> then they asked me how exactly I did it and what it's all about yeah so that was basically it and then you know they they too are helping me think of several uses. things and mm -hmm. things that I could do with the app inventor too so. mm -hmm. you know the coolest thing for me about this is, is I mean it's, it's cool all around but the whole thing with the emergency systems it's I don't know. Do you know I'm actually speechless because I'm thinking about how many lives this could save. Are you going to take it beyond Lagos? Are you thinking about going to other yes, states? Yes, yes. I plan to take it out of the only Lagos because it should be something that several people can use. Yeah. So that is an improvement that I'm going to make. Mm -hmm. To in get your it. version 2.0 or something. Yeah, late, the next version. Are you already working on that? Yes, I am. Are you working on any other apps? Can we ask? Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Top secret I for will, now. I will do more apps. and I'm, uh, I'm sure you will. I mean, you're already doing this now. Are you going to go, is this a career for you, like software development, app development? Or are you going to now tell me you want to be a brain surgeon or something else equally intimidating? Well, it's actually, I don't know whether to call it a hobby. It's something I enjoy doing. So it's a hobby. So, I'm sorry, guys. It's a hobby. She creates apps as a hobby. 
How many of you, I mean, most of you just sit down and eat for hobbies. Have you seen? Have you seen this? Please continue, I beg. Yes, it's something that I like to do sometimes when I don't have anything to do. I just, just create, create apps. apps or I do maybe try to create a website or something. I like how you say that, like it's really casual, like, you know, I just create a website or something. Is this your first app you're creating? No, but it's like the, I think it's this, the, this best, is the best, best one. so far. And you create websites as well? Dummy websites, yeah. What else do you create? Uh, well, 3D animation. I learned, I learned that recently this summer, so I plan to try more things in 3D animation. What did you say you want to do in future? You never told me. Well, starting from university, I plan to actually go to maybe Oxford or Cambridge. Of course. You know, where else would you go? So that's where I'll start. That's a start because I don't actually have a specific career choice yes. right now. Yeah. But mm, I'll we'll see how it goes. Yes, I'll see how it goes. Tommy Sin, you are amazing. You absolutely rock. And I'm, I'm not just saying this. You are so incredibly brilliant. And I'm glad we're going to be talking to your director because they're doing such a great job of helping you explore all the things your mind can do. And I can't wait to see you explode on the world stage because we do know you're going to do this on a worldwide level. I pray. Amen. <laughs> You're amazing. I'm going to tell your dad, like, you're amazing. We're going to take a really quick break. We'll be right back. I'm here with Mrs. Olufunke Fowler Amba. She's the director of the Vivian Fowler Memorial College for Girls. And can I just start by saying how wild I am by Thomasin? Can you tell us a little bit of the support that the school provides to its students that enable them to do such amazing things? Um, thank you for having me on here. Sure. Um, definitely what we work on is to make sure that our children take ownership of their learning and we understand that the world is very competitive. So one of the things we do especially for IT is that we have a company coming to teach IT and we make sure that in the process of them of their journey through with us at Vivian Fowler that they also sit for some exams including Microsoft and some other exams uh -huh. and one of the things we stress is that they get a lot of practical exposure mm -hmm. to ICT. Mm -hmm. So apart from ICT, what other um, extracurricular activities, so to speak, are your students involved in? Well, we're obviously educating the girl child, so yeah. we ensure that they're quite competitive. Um, where Vivian Fowler is actually known for a lot of debate and um, essay writing. Yeah. And in the last few years, um, this is not our first with ICT because we have a child who represented Nigeria in Las Vegas about three years ago at the Microsoft um, okay. competition, and she was actually the youngest in the world and um, what we do emphasize is we expose them mm -hmm. to a lot of learning to a lot of extracurricular activities a lot of sports and just make sure that the education is holistic yeah so how did you work with with Thomasin on this journey um, what we do, like I said, is that we ensure that and uh, we have a company called New Horizon mm -hmm. who have been phenomenal in tapping into the potential of all our children. Mm -hmm. So what we do is that we make sure, like I said, that they get a lot of hours in the mm -hmm. practical aspect of ICT. We teach them to be imaginative. Yeah. Um, like I said, um, they do do a lot of traveling as well. Great. And we expose them to what's going on in the 21st century because mm -hmm. we understand that we want them to be a blessing to our country in the future, but we of understand course. that they have to be global citizens. Mm -hmm. So like I said previously, we just ensure that they expose, that's the key you word. Open them up. Mm -hmm. And I mean, going forward, obviously you must be very proud. Mm -hmm. Are you um, looking to put her maybe into competitions or exhibitions or anything like that? Yes, every year the school does take part in ICT competitions. So mm -hmm. we do, you know, they do go for, um, sit for competitions. And that's why I said we use an outside agent, we use an actual so consultant. So make sure. Exactly. So we make sure that we're in tune with all the trends going on mm -hmm. in the um, computer field, in the ICT field as well. 
Your, your institution is focused, like you said, on building the girl child. Do you want to give us any last words to the girl child, especially in this 21st century world where she must be as competitive and as strong and as bold as possible? Absolutely. I mean, what we emphasize, we're not trying to um, create women who are feminists, but we're trying to create women who will be whole women, who would um, represent womanhood. And one of the things we emphasize is that you're able to be academically strong, socially strong mm. and you also be able to have the core values to also maintain a home in the future mm. and we let our girls know that anything is possible as long as you push yourself so we mm. make sure where we put the tools in place to ensure that they reach their full potential mm -hmm. thank you thank you so thank much you. for coming thank you thank so you. much for bringing Thomas in our way thank you so much we're going to take another quick break we'll be right back